We continue to follow an overnight shooting that left both an officer and a suspect wounded. Richmond's police chief gave us an update on that investigation during a news conference this afternoon. Jake Burns was there and he is live now with the latest on what officers had to say. Good news though, Jake, the officer is expected to be fine. Yeah, it does seem like that, Leland, at least according to RPD officials. As for the other person that was shot, the outlook does not look as good, again, according to officials. We've also learned that this exchange of gunfire actually started on the interstate. It began with a call for a speeding car. An RPD officer and a 20-year-old man they were chasing both shot in a breezeway of this South Richmond apartment complex early Monday morning. Uh, Chief Gerald Smith, Richmond Police Department. Monday afternoon, Richmond Police announcing what happened in the moments leading up to the shooting. 3.26 a.m., officers observed a vehicle driving recklessly at a high rate of speed. Officers were behind this vehicle as it headed south on Interstate 95 and exited at the Maury Street exit. Chief Gerald Smith says the vehicle then crashed and the driver ran off toward the towns at River South Apartments. Two RPD officers were chasing the driver on foot, but Chief Smith says weapon. only one fired their weapon. Okay. Despite reviewing body camera footage, Smith says RPD does not yet know who fired first, the officer or the driver. We have not spoken to the officer yet, for the officer is under medical treatment at this time, but we will speak to the officer. So anything that I say now would be complete speculation. But in typical situations like that, officers react to an act of threat. Investigators say the driver is 20-year-old Dakari Reinhardt. He's being held on outstanding warrants for failing to appear in Richmond court and faces misdemeanor forgery charges in Henrico for allegedly trying to use counterfeit cash at a drive through Smith saying Reinhardt was shot in the chest area and the officer hit near the hip. He's being cared for by his wife and family and of course other officers as well too. So he will be on a long haul to recovery and we'll be there with him. As far as the suspect is concerned, he is in ICU, I believe, and he is, he is still life-threatening at this time. Smith says more interviews need to be done, including with the officer, potentially the suspect, Reinhardt, and then also people who may have witnessed what happened.